Well, with fears of a decline in Japanese visitors to the islands and increasing gas prices, among other things, many people have questions about Hawaii's immediate economic future. And joining us now is uh, Dr. Carl Bonham from UHERO, the University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization. Good to see you here again this morning. Good morning. So let's talk about the economy. And uh, this morning, the Bureau of Economic Analysis released their revised uh, estimate for the 2010 fourth quarter. And what are those numbers indicating? Well, basically, they revised the numbers upward, which is good news. The primary reason was that basically uh, businesses were putting fewer goods into their inventories. Those don't get counted in the current quarter. They get counted in future quarters when they're sold. And the primary source of growth, the, the new number is 3.1 percent growth. That happens to be right about average. So the, the economy is basically sort of on its long-run trend growth path. It's just not growing fast enough to create a lot of jobs. But a lot of, most of the growth was coming from consumers. So consumers uh, spent 4% more in the fourth quarter than they did in the third. And that growth was from 2.8 from, from to 3.1%, correct. correct? Correct. That's right. Well, when we talk about the economy, there are sometimes terms that people kind of get confused about, some viewers get confused about. The consumer sentiment index, why is this important? What is it? So I mentioned that consumer spending was up 4% in the fourth quarter. Every month, the University of Michigan Survey Research Center uh, does a survey of households all across the country and asks them what they think they're going to spend in the future. It asks them, do they think that they're going to have better jobs or better income? And so that gives you an idea of what might be happening to co consumer spending going forward, which is an important part of the overall economy. And what is that, what is that indi index telling us right now? Well, un unfortunately, it's not great news. Um, it, the index actually fell by the largest amount that has fallen since the crisis in 2008. It fell 10 points last month. And the primary reason for that decline was rising gas prices. When consumers see those, their energy costs going up and they have a budget, it, that eats into their budget and then they can't spend money on other things that they'd like to spend it on. And there's a very, very tight relationship between gasoline prices, energy prices, and the, and the index. And Hawaii certainly has uh, the highest, some of the highest gas prices in the country. And we're also keeping a close eye on the tsunami and the economic impact here in Hawaii. What can you tell us about the, the Council on Revenue? That they're supposed to meet again next week to reevaluate some of the numbers. So essentially we were called back in to have another meeting uh, because our last meeting was the day of the tsunami. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Thursday and the governors asked us to come back in, reevaluate the budget situation. Uh, I, I can't tell you what will happen in the meeting. I don't know what will happen. It, it's, a, it's a joint decision. Uh, we'll be taking into account not only the tsunami but the situation in the Middle East. Uh, and the stronger growth in the U.S. economy. So there's multiple things going on, and it's not, you know, it's not just about the, the decline in Japanese visitors. And very quickly, with the decline in Japanese tourism, is that going to affect even housing prices here in Hawaii over the next half, over the next six months? Uh, not likely. Uh, the, I mean, the bigger effects on housing, I mean, you could actually see housing prices go up mm -hmm. uh, because you could see... Uh, Japanese residents fleeing Japan looking for some place to live for six months and coming here, you know, wealthier Japanese residents coming here and buying houses. Uh, the, the bigger effect on housing is likely to come from the overall economy, j total jobs, interest rates, that, those right. kinds of things. Well, there's some, somewhat of a trickle down effect though. Uh, small. Okay. All right, Dr. Carl Bonham, uh, thanks for the information, very insightful, and sure. uh, we thank you for joining us here this morning.